Hey friends, this is Reverend Allison and Pastor Key. We're coming to you midweek from Faith United Methodist Church. And as we come to you, we just wanted to start giving you midweek updates on how the life of the church is going. We know that we are in week nine of our Safer at Home and Sheltering in Place. Mm -hmm. So it's been a long time since we've seen a lot of you, but we do see you. Yeah, and we Key miss said. you, right? We, we totally miss, you. miss all of you. Uh, it's it's I mean, especially for us, you know, we're, in, we're extroverts, so uh, seeing you guys face to face means a, a big deal to us, but we recognize because of the social distancing, uh, it's, you know, it's not as possible as we'd like it to have, but uh, know that we're trying our best to reach you and connect with you. But it's also a time for pastoral care, Pastor mm -hmm. Key. So if any of you would like a pastoral care visit, we're happy to bring a lawn chair and we will sit yes. social distance from you in your yes. driveway, um, and you can stay behind your doors or come out of it, but we do want to be able to serve your needs, and if you are looking for more of spiritual needs or just counseling, please contact us at the church office, and we will definitely be able to find ways that we can help resource you and support you. But in these things, we just wanted to kind of give you some updates about what's happening. We've been doing online worship for the last nine weeks, and Chad has been very graciously helping us get online with her, with his team, with Julie and Noe, and Brian Fujimori has been getting us on our website and keeping us social media updated. Yes, yes. So thank you so much to all of our friends that are helping. And we have all these volunteers still behind the scenes working from their homes mm. to make sure the ministries of our church are continuing and functioning. Yeah. But as we do so this week, we are having a, a special service. We were planning on celebrating, or remembering at least, Matsuri. That's true. We, we do miss the fact that this was supposed to be our Matsuri weekend. Mm -hmm. And right now, if, if we were still having our church, would have been bustling with people and are getting prepared to have our biggest uh, mm -hmm. spring festival of mm -hmm. the year. And so we do miss that. Yeah. Um, but we're going to postpone the actual memories of Matsuri for next, next week. Mm -hmm. So that will be um, the following week because this week, the bishop, our bishop, Grant Hagia, is offering a special worship service for the entire California Pacific Conference mm. and anybody else in the world that wants <laughs> to view worship with us. But he's doing this for a special reason, and, and um, Pastor Key and I, as clergy, really appreciate this. But also for our church family, this is an opportunity for us to hear our bishop preach, but give us a word of comfort and hope mm. in a time where we are in the midst of COVID. Yes. So. Well, will this, I mean, will this worship service, Reverend Allison, be like a full worship service? Meaning like, will it have a children's message? Will it have music? Or will it just be his sermon? So this is actually gonna be a full worship service oh, okay. um, brought to us by actually not only Bishop Aguilla, but his entire cabinet. Oh. So all of the district superintendents and those possibly on the extended cabinet. Cool. Um, kind of covert though, right. because we're not sure if there's going to be a children's <laughs> moment or not, but we want all of our church members to, uh, and our church family and community to, to engage and to join us for service, mm -hmm. because uh, this is a time of just understanding where God is in the midst of all of this, and, and hearing a different message from a different preacher's voice, yes. I, I think, may, may lend to... Uh, just a new way and, and hopefully a renewal of our spirits. And it's also an opportunity to give our production crew a break. Oh, thank you. So, <laughs> so the Bishop and Cabinet definitely <laughs> want know how hard uh, churches all over our conference and the world are working. And so they know that this is a time just to give us a, a, a brief Sabbath. Mm -hmm. And so as we take Sunday off, uh, we will still be worshiping with you um, as we... Uh, worship live at our regular times, Pastor Key. Right. So, so 8.30? Yeah, 8.30, 10.30, 10.30. And then uh, and if you miss those, it'll be at 5 o'clock or 5.30? At 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock. So okay. we'll be watching all of these. We just replayed them at 5 o'clock, but we'll be watching the same service for all three times. But you'll also be able to access it via our website at faithsouthbay.org um, at any time. So they don't need to go to, like, the conference website. We'll provide the website. Uh, on our website, actually. Right. Okay, so it'll be a real easy link, and if you can't get to it, then contact us because it'll be recorded anyways, right? So therefore, it'll be avail available for you the rest of the week? That's right. Okay. So it'll be available, it'll be on our website, um, you can archive, it'll be archived afterwards on um, 
Fantastic. our sermons. Fantastic. And um, so we want you to join us. And if you need a DVD copy, you can always let us know. And so just to let you know a couple of announcements, because we will not be coming to you live from Faith mm. United Methodist Church. Um, we also would want to invite people, if they are watching on Facebook or on YouTube, to like and share, okay. actually, to share our worship services with your friends and family, as well as um, on YouTube, you can just mm. upload and share with your friends too, um, to kind of to share the word, to actually be the bearers of good news mm. in the world, and just and, and to reach beyond our comfort zones okay. at faith. Yeah. So when they view, I mean, are we encouraging anyone to view from Facebook more often or from YouTube more often? Is that is there more of a recommendation or does it matter? I say whichever media that you use. Okay. Like if okay. you are a good Facebook user, use it. Okay. And, and if you are on YouTube, use it and copy the link and post it and share it to your, with your friends. Fantastic. And uh, one other question is, I know I've heard about a new uh, Venmo handle That's for our online giving. Yes. Yeah, so if you are our generous donors out there and supporting our worship services as well as the ministries of faith, uh, there is a new Venmo handle. You can still uh, make donations during bank, through Venco and PayPal, but our Venmo handle is now at faithumc, so faithumc hyphen South Bay. Okay, so it'll be written at, at the bottom of, uh, uh, of your screen there once, once, uh, once you get it, so. Okay. Sounds cool. good, Pastor Key. Are there other announcements that we'd like to share with well, the community? Um, I was going to ask you, um, I know that even after this coming Sunday, the following Sunday will be Memorial Day weekend. So what are we asking our folks to, to prepare? So we've asked a lot of, each week we've tried to engage and have community participation in our worship services. We know that we don't get to do that with your faces here in the congregation <laughs> anymore. So last week we had asked people to send in their mothers, uh, wishing mm -hmm. them Happy Mother's Day. Um, and notes or videos for them this following week. So since we didn't do Matsudi Sunday this week, we're gonna ask people to do two different things. It's Matsudi, um, we have a special song for you. Mm -hmm. So Stephen Ballard is asking if you have any memories of Matsudi, mm -hmm. send those in, not pictures, but actual memories that you'd like to type out and write down. And then also, if you have a loved one that you would like to honor, Please send us their photos yes. and send them to communications at faithsouthbay.org. Yeah, and if you want to, um, go ahead and give us your actual photos, put them in the mail. We'll go ahead and scan them and then give them back to you. We'll deliver them back to you if that makes it easier for some of you, right? And if it's too hard to mail and you don't have any stamps anymore, just call us and we'll pick it up. That's true. We're willing to do that. Anything to get us out of the house once in a Anything while. Anything right? to get That's us out. True. And we want to see your faces. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, beyond that, I don't have any other more questions. Any other questions? But as, as as of right now, we are a church that is worshiping virtually, but we also are worshiping with you in community in a different kind of way. Mm -hmm. And so, if you need anything, please let us know. Yes. Give us a call. Um, we know that we are following state recommendations, right. and so at this point in time, we know that we will probably be remaining a closed campus right. through at least. Through June. Through June, yeah. We miss you guys. I, I, I mean, it's. I wish we could be back I know. tomorrow. We wish we could give you hugs. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's what we want, want to do the most. But even the new normal is not going to be, you know, uh -huh. what we're expecting when we come back. But we're doing our best with all of our church leadership. I know we've been having meetings after meetings. So just know we're working really hard to try to figure out how we can go back, come back as soon as possible. But we definitely don't want to go ahead and, and, and think that it's, you know, make any decision that's premature to put anybody at risk. So. That's right, Pastor Key. And so we will, once we are ready, uh, we, we're working on some processes and protocols uh, and procedures mm -hmm. for our church community, and we will let you all know, and we want to keep you updated and detailed. And so at this time, though, we pray for you. Yes. We wish you good health. We wish your families the best during this time, and we wish you be, we hope that you will be safe. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Take care. Have a good week. Have a great week.